Hey, what up, Z Clan, and everybody else? How you doing? I hope you're all doing good. Welcome to my Fallout 76 Before You Buy video. So, in this video, we're going to take a look at the Medieval Port Cullis, if I pronounced that correctly. If I didn't, I do apologize. Sometimes I do mispronounce stuff. So, uh, let's start wasting time and jump right into it. Alright, so uh, first of all, let's start off where can you find the item in your build menu in order to build it. So you will need to open your build menu and navigate to the defense section. And in the defense section, you will have all of your items that you have neither unlocked by gameplay or you already had by default or you bought from um, the item shop. And uh, once you scroll down a little bit, you should be able to find your gate. So the medieval portcullis, if I pronounce that correctly, damn it. So that's the building right there. It, I was, should be able, okay, there we go. So another thing that I would like to share with you is how much uh, build budget does it take. So for now, if you pay attention on the top right corner, I have 35% uh, stored, right? So if I should store this item, it will tell me approximately how much percentage it will take. So it was 35, now it's 38, so it's like 3%, right? So it's to build this thing, it's 3%. Coolio. Now in the defense section, we can. it looks like we can build this thing as much as we want. So there is no limitations on how many times you can build this thing. As long as you have concrete and you have steel, because well, you'll need four concrete and four steel to build this thing. Uh, now, the other thing is, it also has a power light over here, the generator thingy, right? So if you connect it to the power, you will have light right over there. I'll show you that in the vault because uh, in one of the dark vaults that I have, because uh, I mean shelters. Apologies, and you can act, you, if if you did not know, you can build this there. <laughs> All right, so this is the gate. You can, uh, it makes a pretty cool uh, sound effect when you use it, right? Now, since this is a door, you could actually uh, lock it. So you can put a lock onto it, whatever the keys, right? Uh, to my disappointment, you cannot put a door over here. I thought, man, first time, maybe there will be. Because look, I'm not like the best builder in this game. I might be in some future when I'll get the time in order to build stuff, you know. Uh, but to my greatest disappointment is that we cannot put doors into this thing, right? Uh, that sucks because there's a really cool item that I would just love to like collab this thing with, and it's called. Let me just find it first. The laser door. Damn it! Where is the stupid laser door? It should be somewhere here. I mean, there's a whole bunch of doors you can. You can put like you gotta put this wall, wall door. Don't remember where we got this one. I think it was from one of the seasons. But I thought, man, this would look really, really nice, right? Eh, a shame. Maybe uh, some future Bethesda, please give us the options uh, to actually interact with the building. I mean, it's cool and all, but uh, you can attach stairs to it. Like for example, like if I were want to. Like to put something there, I can attach it. Maybe there will, some builders will find some, you know, life hack how to kind of like, you know, <laughs> attach stuff to it. I tried destroying it, like I put a flamethrower over there, right? And I thought maybe I could clip something, but I guess it didn't work out for me. Besides, this thing from dies from a flamethrower real fast. So, anyway, uh, the other thing is, like. I think it's gonna be hard to actually make a wall although if you have in your defense and you've purchased this there is something that you could use where is the defense tab oh there you go defense it's like this thing right here and kind of like build it over here hey why don't you build I did that in the shelter oh it's because it's broken right because I'm an idiot stop shooting the damn thing man Jeez, just get lost. Prepare. So yeah, as I was saying, something like that, and actually it kind of matches the the actual build. I mean, the actual 
you know, like the bricks kind of match. Yeah, well, you, you you get the point, right? I mean, you can't really like make an attachment to it or something. Although that would be a good idea, but as if you uh, provide us, uh, you've provided with this part. Now, uh, how about make uh, an attachable wall, so we could make a real nice medieval kind of like you know wall around the camp. I mean, it's huge. <laughs> I mean, I love it, man. I was thinking to build a camp, but you know, with it, but uh, it's gonna be a real hard. By the way, there is also this lever that you can interact and we'll drop the gate put it back up and also from here it is locked so if you've locked it you you can see it unlock right so yeah let's take a look on zoom out zoom in I mean the item is huge is really really big I wanted to collab it like with you know those other pre-built buildings that we have like the fire building the uh, Brotherhood of Steel I could really really make some cool stuff I mean picture this you have these two gates right and you could build a wall like of the same type so maybe Bethesda that's gonna be a great idea now that electricity over there as I said if you connect it to the generator you'll have these two lights uh, turned on so let me show you that how that looks like in the shelter because it's dark over there Alright, so this is the shelter, one of my shelters, the cave one, I don't remember the full exact name of it, but anyway, that's not the point. Once you've connected to the generator, I actually made a little uh, switch, so right now the power is off. So if I turn on the light, there shall be light, woo! Yeah! But yeah, I mean, the item is good, I like it, definitely I'll try to figure something out to do with it. Although the side, for some reason, just keeps glowing, I don't know why. Uh, maybe there's some light over here that I've... I don't know. <laughs> For some reason that thing is on late. That thing is turned off, right? Anyway, the item is pretty cool. Although additional items like attachables to this fort would be really nice, like walls, as I said. But in general, it's actually looking nice. Definitely, I would love to build some camp with a huge wall surrounding it. That would be really nice. I mean, there you go. That's the item. Alright, so this is where I'm going to be calling it the end for this video. So I hope you enjoyed it and found it useful. And if you did, you know the drill. Don't forget to hit that like. Comment down below. Please make sure not to use profanity as those comments get triggered by YouTube. Nobody see them. Nobody can read them. Nobody can respond to them. So do have that in mind. So if you got something positive, negative to say, feel free to comment. The only thing I ask of you is not to swear. If you are new and you subscribed, welcome to Z Clan. I'm Gamer Z Soul from Ukraine. So hi from Ukraine. Once again, thanks all for watching this video. And I hope you found it useful. Uh, also, as of recording this this video, right, depending when you're watching, uh, there is a war going on. And if you wanna, if you're open to any charity, I will share two links to two different funds created by the NBU, which is the uh, National Bank of Ukraine. And uh, there's gonna be a fund for military and the fund for humanitarian. So if you're open to do any charity, uh, feel free to use one of those links. And uh, as always, thanks for all the love, all the support you guys, all of you provide to me, to Ukraine. I mean, thank you. <laughs> Once again, hope you found this video useful. I'll see you on the next one. Bye. From the ashes we rose into the future we'll go. We are the clan, we have a gamer's soul. By the might of the sword, we put the pen to the test. We are the